dear students uh, welcome and thank you for tuning in for another video we are continuing our discussion uh, in setting up final specifications in the product and product design and development uh, course and uh, we are going to discuss the fourth step or tool in the method of um, f creating some final specifications which is flow down uh, the specifications as appropriate so here at this stage we have to take care of the how are we going to look at big projects uh, and um, projects or prototypes that have a lot of components complex components so if if your prototype is simple and has you know three or four components or subsystems we should be okay but if you are designing something with a lot of components there is there is a requirement there's a need to do something called flow down and um, create specifications find specification using this flow down um, step or procedure so we're not talking about small products but I, I need to mention this for all uh, of you if you are designing something big for example if you are designing a car right so everybody will be asking what is the fuel economy of this car and you can say that well this is an x amount of miles per hour and uh, people will be happy however we need to as engineers when we do uh, product design development we need to go at, to a deeper level of sub systems so the system level specification determine whether we can meet the customer need. That's the big picture. But you need to break down to subsystems. And for example, if you're designing a car and we find that we're talking about its fuel economy, but the car is made up of a lot of parts, for example, the engine. And at this point, you need to also specify uh, what are the final specifications for the engine. For example, what is its peak power? What's the peak torque? and fuel consumption. So we go from a system level to some subsystem specifications. Um, and also even after that, for the subsystem uh, specifications, we need to go one step down to specify them uh, and identify the specifications for the components. And then after specifying, which are which makes the subsystems. And then you need to look at the manufacturing specification of each of these components. And then you need to look at the process uh, specifications that determine how to meet the component specification that we have identified. So in this, for the flow down, you need to be able to break down your project, your uh, prototype into subsystems and the subsystem to components and the components to manufacturing specifications and the specification, the manufacturing need to be, to have a process. So it's, it's a very clear structure and uh, it can be done uh, using technical terms, which we do as engineers, but also it can be done using something called the budget allocation, uh, which you will be assuming that the product will simply be the sum of all quantities of each subsystem. So we can say, well, okay, if I'm creating, let's say, mass, if the mass of the, sub of the component is X, Y, and Z, which means that the mass of the subsystem will be the su su summation of all these masses which is a linear relationship. But this is not the case all the time. For example, if you want to look at fuel efficiency, it's a function of many variables. For example, you need to have to identify um, vehicle mass, the rolling resistance, the aerodynamic drag coefficient, and the front area and the engine efficiency. So you could be faced with a lot of complex uh, situations that you need to think carefully about. For us as engineers, any metric or any um, value or component, we need to make sure that we know the function, the mathematical or the physical law that govern that function and how to create you know, these formulas. And if you have, uh, let's say, for fuel efficiency, you need to be able to create a model that will describe and incorporate the aerodynamic drag coefficient, the rolling resistance, and the frontal area with the engine efficiency and the mass all together to come up with that value, which is the fuel efficiency. Now, this uh, process, we're not going to go deep and deep into this process because all our prototypes should be simple. But if you want to learn more, this is actually what we call um, system engineering. So if you are interested in system engineering, this is what they do. They break down systems into processes and at each stage, they will identify uh, specifications. Thank you. Until next time.